One of the things Silver and Gold introduced were shiny Pokemon. Shiny Pokemon are an exceedingly rare thing to find in the wild, and they are simply a a Pokemon with a different a different coloration, a palette swap, if you will. For example, the choke instead of uh, instead of the gray color, he'd be green for some reason. There's also a little shiny animation that that uh, goes with that happens when the Pokemon is introduced, which shows it signifies that it's shiny. This was done originally because silver and gold, you could play it in black and white, and you wouldn't <laughs> you you wouldn't know if it was shiny unless you had a little animation with it. That's why that happened. It's actually, to find one in the wild, it's something like a 1 in 8,000 chance that it'll be a shiny Pokemon. And that is really rare. I played Diamond and Pearl for over 500 hours, which is a lot, I know, and I've only actually found three, which is still amazing that I actually found that many. I found a Machoke, a Meditite, and a, what is it called? A Gloom. Neither of them are exactly very interesting colors, but you know, some people are into that sort of thing. There are some there are some colorations that are pretty cool. For example, uh, one of the Pokemon I have that I think it's shiny. It's a uh, what is it called? Gliscor. It's kind of a bat Pokemon, and it's kind of colored like the Batman colors, which I I thought was kind of cool. So I may have named it Batgirl because of it. Now, in the original Silver and Gold game, the original game that shiny Pokemon were introduced for. Uh, there was actually a difference between shiny Pokemon and regular Pokemon. You could, you, they actually had increased stats. I don't think they could max out their stats, but they were a little bit stronger than normal Pokemon. There are several Pokemon that are shiny in th throughout the Pokemon series of the games and anime. First of all, one of the first appearances was a pink Butterfree, which I believe is now the shiny coloration for Butterfree. That was that whore that stole away the... Uh, Ashes Butterfree back in the anime. I remember. There's also the Red Gyarados, which I believe is featured in the anime now and was an important part of the storyline in Gold and Silver. It was also the only shiny Pokemon that you were guaranteed to fight and see. And it was pretty cool. It's a Red Gyarados. It's just kind of a cool thing to have. In Diamond and Pearl, you can actually do something to chain Pokemon together. I forget what it's called. It's not the Versus Seeker. I forget what it's called, but it's a little device that they give you which guarantees a Pokemon encounter. You'll, you'll use it and the little bushes will wave, and if you link them together, which I'm not very good at this at all, but you can actually have up, to, basically you just keep finding the same Pokemon after the same Pokemon, the same Pokemon, the same Pokemon. You can actually um, have a 1 in like 205 chance of finding a shiny, which is pretty good considering the other chances you have. And that's how a lot of people find shiny Pokemon nowadays. They they go for the Pokemon they want, and they uh, they just keep trying until they finally get one. They probably use cheating devices in other ways, but that's the most that's the easiest legit way to find one is to chain link your Pokemon. If you have any questions on what that means, because I'm not the best person to tell you how, you can look on YouTube. I'm sure someone has an explanation. Probably maybe even Maryland or something. You can go to Maryland forums or Sarabai.net or Smogon.com, and I'm sure they will have something in there, but that's basically shiny Pokemon. It was a kind of a cool thing that did in silver and gold. It makes them rare collector's items. It makes them a bitch to find, of course. People want to fight with shinies, so... Ooh, shiny. That's shiny Pokemon.